whether writing a job proposal, doing a project report, or simply playing computer games, a laptop is without doubt your most ready tool. Remarkable in its versatility and indispensable in its utility, an entire office can exist virtually in a laptop. But buying a new laptop can be frustrating. Salesmen inundate you with a labyrinth of specs and system configuration. How can you make sense of all these? Specifically, what are the 10 critical things you should check before you buy a laptop? You are welcome to this week's edition of Deep Scripts. As technology continues its breathtaking pace in advancements and innovations, you may appear caught in the web of new terminologies, acronyms, products, and breaking news. Yet, there are critical technology skills you should possess to fit in the new normal. Would it be nice to have it all explained in a simple way you will understand? This is where we come in. This is Deep Scripts. Of the 10 critical things you should check before you buy a laptop, the first of course will be the operating system. Laptops usually have one of, of these three operating systems, Windows, Chrome OS, or Mac OS. Which one of these operating systems is the best? The answer to that question lies in your personal preference and the type of activity you want to carry out. Let's quickly examine what each OS has to offer. Windows 10. This is the most flexible operating system and it runs on more laptop models than Chrome OS or Mac OS. Windows notebooks have a large array of features like touch screens, fingerprint readers, and dual graphic cards. Windows 10 provides you with the ability to switch between tablet and desktop modes. It has an exciting start menu and it easily interfaces with other devices like Android phones, tablets, routers, and TV. Thus, Windows 10 laptops are fantastic for students, writers, researchers, and business users. If your interest is, is in games, then go for Windows operating system. Apple Mac OS. All new, note, all new MacBooks come with Apple's latest operating system, the Mac OS Big Sur, Mac OS 11.0. This is the 16th major release of the Mac OS. Overall, the Mac operating system offers related functionality to Windows 10, but with a different take on the interface. The Mac OS substitutes an app dock at the bottom of the screen for Windows Start Menu and Task Bar. The Mac OS is very fast and versatile. The two drawbacks are 1. The Mac OS is not made for touch screen. Thus, no MacBook comes with a touch screen. 2. Mac OS does not interface easily with other devices like Android phones. Chrome OS Chrome OS is a simple and secure operating system. However, it is much more limited than Windows or Mac OS. The user interface may look somewhat like Windows, with its application menu, the desktop, and the unique ability to drag Windows around. But the main app you will, you will use is the Chrome browser. If you need a simple device to solve the internet, check email, navigate social networks, and chat online, then Chromebooks are preferable. What is more, they offer good battery life at low prices. They are also very hard to infect with, with malware. The downside of it, of course, is that they are often of lower memory and storage than Windows laptops. So, which one of these operating systems is the best? None is best, so to speak. It all depends on your personal preference and the type of activity you want to carry out. And of course, the one you're already used to. Now we go to number two, appearance. Check the appearance of the laptop. Your new laptop should be very attractive in appearance and it should be of good design. After all, you're going to spend many hours together per day. Preferably, it should be light and easy to carry on your backpack, so it doesn't feel bulky while you're on the road. Please go for an X360 machine that can rotate its cover 360 degrees. 
Can you afford a drop dead goggles machine that comes in a strong, sturdy build with a premium look and feel? Then go for it. And yes, uh, select a good color. There are many options now to choose from. Also, if it has a good keyboard, the complete port options, silent fans, and it's very fast, there's no reason why you should not fall in love with this new tool and toy. Number three, memory and speed. A minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM, that is random asset memory, is recommended. However, if it comes with less, you can easily upgrade to 16 gigabytes or even 32 gigabytes, especially if you will need to do a lot of graphics and media streaming. With higher memory, you can multitask, keeping several tabs open in your browser while doing other things like watching a movie, playing games, and doing an email all at once. For processor speed, go for a minimum of 2.3 MHz speed. For storage, for storage, go for at least one terabyte and please insist on having an SSD solid state drive. SSDs offer faster options compared to eMMCs that is embedded multimedia cards and HDDs, that is hard disk drives. SSDs are more than 300% faster with the ability to change your entire computing experience if you have been using a hard drive. An SSD will boot faster and open up your favorite apps in just a few seconds. They also have fewer cases of drive crashes or fatal data losses. Number five, the screen or display. And examine the display thoroughly. Check its parameters. A good display should be adjustable to a reasonable level of brightness, more especially if you will be doing heavy gaming or graphic work. Now, check the pixels. Why? The fact is that the more pixels you have, the more contents you can fit on screen and the sharper they look. Select a laptop that has a screen resolution of about 2560 by 1600 pixels. If you are buying a used laptops, then 1920 by 1080, also known as Full HD, may be okay. However, some high-end laptops that boast of 3840 by 2160, also called 4K, have sharp-looking screens, uh, but they consume more power lowering the battery life. If you want the very best picture quality and you don't really mind a shorter battery life, then you may want to go for an OLED display. Also on screen, a touch screen would be preferable, but the choice is yours. In screen size, 12.5 inch to 16 uh, to, to 14 inch uh, will give you the best balance between ease of use and portability 12.5 inch to 14 inch a larger screen is okay if, if, if you don't travel with your laptop at the same time you know the, the kids will prefer a smaller size model if the laptop is for the kids would you need a graphics card uh, pre-installed well if you'll be playing a lot of games with your laptop or you'll be creating 3d objects or doing high resolution video editing, then an integrated graphics card will be fine. Tell the salesman that you would like a laptop that has an integrated graphics card. Number six, camera. It would be nice for you to check the camera or webcam. With Zoom, Google Meet, Skype, and other apps made more popular by the COVID-19 pandemic, the laptop camera has become a very important component of a machine. Please check. Can you log into Windows 10 by simply peering at the screen? This facility is called Windows Hello. For it to work, you need a laptop with an infrared or real sense 3D camera. The alternative is to buy a high quality external webcam which has this functionality built in. So when shopping for a laptop, look for one that clearly lists Windows Hello facial recognition 
as a feature. Note that you can also have a Windows Hello with a fingerprint reader, but it's not considered as interesting as a facial recognition. So, check the camera, test the camera, ensure the camera is up to the quality that is required for meetings and for other conferences you want to attend. Seven, battery life. Examine the battery and the charging system. A good laptop life is most desirable. Some offer up to 15 hours battery life. Some offer up to 20 hours of battery life. 10 plus hours of battery life is acceptable if you will be taking your laptop out frequently or you will be, you'll be using your laptop outdoors. If you are buying a laptop for games or for strict office use with a steady power supply, you don't need to worry about its battery life. To fully understand a laptop or note notebook's expected battery life, please don't accept the product specs. A lot of specs are wrong. Instead, read through objective sources such as product review websites or users' blogs. Number eight, required ports. Check the laptops for the ports. Check for the HDMI port, the display port, the Thunderbolt 3 or 4 ports and the USB ports. Make sure that they match your requirements. It is helpful to get the connections you need right on the system instead of using dongles or adapters. Most laptops come with USB 3.0 ports. Some come with HDMI ports for, for, for video output. And we're also seeing more laptops with USB Type-C ports. Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 ports are becoming popular. And um, some of these are compatible with USB Type-C ports. Thunderbolt ports look like USB Type-C ports, except for the lightning symbol next to the port. So if you want to check if... If you want to confirm if uh, the port you are seeing is not a USB Type-C port but a Thunderbolt 3 or 4 port which is more desirable, look for the lightning symbol, the symbol of lightning next to the port. That, that tells you that it's a Thunderbolt port. Having a Type-C is useful because you can, you can use it with your universal chargers and docks. So, also check if there's a Type-C port. You may also check for other useful ports like uh, SD card slots, headphone jacks, and Ethernet ports. So the, the ports you check uh, depends on, on what you want to use the laptop for and the kind of equipment you have and, and the type of cables you, you already have or that you intend to use. Number nine, processor. Should you buy a Core i9, Core i7, Core i5, or a Core i3? Interesting question. Well, the answer, it depends on your activities and business requirements. They are all parallel technologies from the same manufacturers that have recent models and older models. So all of these technologies have recent models and older models. It is much like asking whether you should buy a saloon car, a wagon, an SUV, or a truck. It depends on what you want to use it for. Intel Core i9 supersedes the Core i7 as the top-level CPU. Core i9 provides faster performance than any other mobile chip. It is available only on premium laptops, workstations, and big gaming rigs. You will need a Core i9 if you are a power user with the most demanding programs and apps. Of course, you know you wouldn't buy a truck if your plan is simply to take your son to school. So, it all comes down to your requirements. What do you intend to use the laptop for? Intel Core i7 supersedes the Core i5. Core i7 models that have HQ or K in their specs are higher, uh, use higher wattage. They also have four cores, which make them faster for games and work. The Core i7 Y series have lower power and performance requirements. Intel Core i5 is a mainstream laptop that has the best combination of price and performance and is most suitable for office work. This is what uh, you may likely require. Intel Core i3 has performance ability that is just a step
step below Core i5. It's still a great laptop, especially if it's a new one. It is cheaper as well. So if you want to balance price and performance, you may want to go for Intel Core i3. The more recent specs. Please do not buy a laptop with specs less than a Core i3. Please check the generation series. The 10th and 11th generation Core series offer better performance over other models. So if you are offered, for instance, a Core i5, ask them which generation of Core i5. The 10th generation or the 11th generation or the older generations. The 10th and 11th generation series offer better performance over previous models. The Apple M1 is the first of Apple's custom silicon. This microchip does better than its competitors in performance and endurance. You will find the Apple M1 an amazing chip. You will find it in the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. Number 10, connectivity devices. Check if your proposed laptop has a 4G LTE or 5G support. These are the best for accessing the internet while you are away from a router. In this era of 5G, if you are buying a new laptop, it should be 5G compliant. It should have 5G support. Make sure your new laptop has Wi-Fi 6 support. Wi-Fi 6, which is 802.11ax, offers better throughputs and more stable connections than Wi-Fi 5, which is 802.11ac. As you select your laptop, pick one with Bluetooth 5, the latest Bluetooth standard which offers better connectivity for your Bluetooth-enabled devices. So in summary, what are the 10 things that you need to check as you buy a new laptop? One, check the operating system. Two, check the appearance. Three, check the memory and the speed. Number four, check the storage. Number five, check the screen or display. Number six, check the camera. Seven, battery life. Eight, check the ports attached to the laptop. Number nine, check the processor. And number 10, check the connectivity devices. Finally, many people have been asking, are there very good laptops you can get for cheaper prices? Perhaps for less than $500? The answer is yes. Please join me in another episode as we review laptops you can get, very good laptops you can get for less than $500. Thanks for joining us. This is Deep Scripts.